Hey guys, it's Corey. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be installing parts on the SOAR and today we're going to be focusing more on cleaning up the look of the engine bay. So let's get down to it and see what, see what we're installing. So today we're going to be putting on this TRD strut brace and it's going to be going on my 1992 SOAR. So let's get this hood popped. All right, basically it's a super easy install. You just undo the six 14 millimeter bolts, three on this side, three on that side. So I'm going to go ahead and use an impact. You can use hand tools, obviously. And you can take off these plates. Probably won't need those anymore. All right, after fumbling around, finally got it in. It's a really tight fit. So next, all you have to do is put down, put back your six 14 millimeter nuts. And on this one, we'll definitely need a wrench. Tighten them down, and then you're pretty much done. Grab a wrench for your last set, and then you're finished. All right, so today we're gonna to be installing a carbon fiber intake for the SOAR to replace the aluminum one that has a bunch of uh, extra like nipples hanging off of it that have been plugged that don't really serve a purpose. This way it gets a cleaner look. And then one of the other things that I've wanted for a while is a part number. If you know, you know. If you don't know, you're about to know. Uh, so this is just the uh, TRD oil cap. So we're going to put that on and this. And it's just going to clean up the look of the engine bay a little bit. Hey, really got to clean that interior. So here's a look at the old one. Uh, there's too many nipples on here. This one wasn't even plugged, but I just don't like the look of that. So I'm gonna put, the, put on the carbon fiber. It's a four inch, so it'll work. And then I'm gonna be replacing this engine oil cover and the new TRD one will go well with the TRD strut brace. Let's get the parts and the tools required. All right, I'll take off the filter. Don't lose your screwdriver like I just about did. And then I'm just going to loosen it from here because it's going to go right back on the, onto the turbo anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten that down and just so you guys know, the plan is this isn't going to be the only carbon fiber piece. I want this to be carbon as well. And if somebody knows how I can find the radiator cooling spots in carbon, let me know and I will definitely get them. Let me speed up this uh, tightening. All right, and let's get our oil cap. All right. <clears throat> so looking at this, <clears throat> looking at this, this uh, the old, this old oil cap has been on there pretty much since this car was brand new, so it is dirty. So we got nice, clean new TRD stuff. The only thing that I don't like about this cap is I can't get the TRD logo to be this way, because if you put it on this way, it ends up looking this this direction. 
and if you spin it around and have it this direction it ends up looking towards towards the turbo but that's it <clears throat> let me know what you guys think about the engine bay now